This is Fred Wall, the Visa Coach. Today's topic is what happens after the K-1 Fiancé Visa interview is over. Visa Coach, fast, easy, and personal. I am Fred Wall, the Visa Coach, and I am known for the personal one-on-one -on -one relationship that we share, that's you, me, and your partner, as we work together as a team to overcome the many challenges of immigration. Don't risk your happiness. Don't go this course alone. Alone, it's too easy for you to make mistakes that cause tears, delays, and expensive denial. Do pick up the phone well, and speak with me directly so that while well, you and I can get to know each other. This is the free consultation I talk about later. And if we are compatible, that's the beginning of our beautiful relationship to get you the immigration approvals that you need. Now, this is what two of my clients, Jay and Gloria, had to say. Gloria comes from the Philippines, and I helped her get her fiancé visa. Gloria went for her interview at the embassy today and completed it successfully. Gloria had extensive paperwork with her, including the updated I-134 and all supporting documentation, as well as all the other documents that were required. However, the package you put together for us was so comprehensive and so well prepared that after reviewing everything, he didn't ask for anything else, but had absolutely no questions for Gloria. Based on everything we've learned, the interview went much better than our wildest dreams. The money we spent for your services was our best investment ever. We are delighted with the outcome. Thanks for your help and advice. We are very pleased. Well, I'm very pleased for you too. Now, let's talk about what happens after the K-1 Fiancé Visa interview. Now, it's taken a while to get here. It's been many months of careful preparation, teamwork, well, between you and me and your fiancé, and nerve-wracking waiting. Your fiancé has finally had her or his interview. The visa front-loaded petition has done its job. Before the interview started, the counselor officer reviewed our petition and found many good reasons to trust you and to want to approve the visa. By the time he pressed his buzzer to call your fiancé to come to his desk, he was already inclined and mentally prepared to say yes. And once the interview started, it was friendly, and after only a few minutes ended with, welcome to the USA. So what happens next? Well, your fiance has already handed in her or his passport, and this will stay at the consulate to have the K-1 visa imprinted onto one of its pages. About a week later, the passport will be returned, usually by courier, to your fiance. And along with the passport will also be a sealed envelope labeled, Do Not Open. This is a summary of the medical exam that had been taken prior to the interview. Now, Do Not Open means just that. Leave the envelope sealed. Now, upon first entering the USA, your fiancé will be met by a Customs and Border Patrol officer. He will discuss with her the terms of the fiancé visa. And he might ask for the sealed envelope. They don't always do it, but he might. Your fiancé should keep it with her in her hand-carry luggage, because if asked for it, she needs to present it right away before getting access to any of her checked-in luggage. Now, if the officer doesn't ask for it, well, don't worry. It's up to him, and the procedure's followed at his post. Now, the K-1 visa is valid for use for up to six months. But this is not six months from the date of the interview. It's six months from the date of the medical exam. So do check the dates carefully on your visa and make sure your fiancé begins the journey to the USA before the visa expires. Now, upon arrival, your fiancé is allowed a 90-day stay. This means the fiancé visa is treated just like a visitor visa or tourist visa. It is officially for a temporary stay of only a maximum of 90 days. However, this visa has the special benefit that should you marry within the 90 days, then your new spouse is eligible to stay in the USA 
if she applies for adjustment of status. So marry within 90 days of arrival, then apply for adjustment of status to adjust from a temporary vis visitor to a permanent resident. Now when permanent residency is approved, your spouse gets well a little ID card about the size of a driver's license that confirms permission to remain in the USA. And that's what everyone's talking about. It's called the green card. Now as the marriage had just taken place, the permanent residency that is granted is only good well for two years. This is called conditional permanent residency. And just before the two years is up, you will apply to USCIS to have the permanent residency upgraded to an unconditional permanent permanent residency. Then finally, three, three years from the start of your spouse's permanent residency, your spouse is eligible to apply for U.S. citizenship. Now all of these steps, fiancé visa, adjustment of status, removal of conditions, and citizenship, well, Team Visa Coach is available to work with you to achieve all of these goals. This was Fred Wall, the Visa Coach. Now please like or add your comments to this video. And then go to visacoach.com and sign up for the Visa Coach monthly newsletter. Each month it's full of tips and advice on immigration. And it's free of charge. Now finally, when you are ready to get started, call for your free consultation and speak with me directly. Before starting your immigration adventure, before entering an arcane maze of rules, regulations, and procedures, before committing yourself to a risky path that could mean an end to your happiness, speak with the Visa Coach and ask for his free consultation. He listens to you to learn the red flags and strengths of your case, your eligibility and goals. He will suggest which visa is right for you, the best strategy to get it, and how soon your love can join you. The friendly advice and wisdom he'll freely share with you might make the difference between approval and denial and could save you months or years of loneliness and separation. What have you got to lose? Book your free consultation today.